So we answer more uh, bond questions. What's a sovereign bond? What's a euro bond? What's a local currency uh, foreign bond? And then what's uh, treasury inflation protected bonds, also known as uh, TIPS? So let's take a look at examples. Um, a sovereign bond is a bond issued by a sovereign government. They can be issued in US dollars or in their local currency. A euro bond is a bond that is referred to, well, that's a bond issued generally in US dollars. Um, that usually does not mean it's European. Um, it could be, for instance, India issuing a US dollar denominated bond uh, in, in, in international uh, bond markets, and it would be referred to as a euro bond. Uh, Eurobond may or may not pay coupons. So sovereign bonds may or may not pay uh, coupons. And local currency foreign bond uh, refers to a bond that's issued in the local currency of the company or the, um, or the government. And I'll talk about tips a little bit separately. So let's take a look. Uh, this is an ETF, uh, VWOB, Vanguard Emerging Markets Government Bond index fund and if you look at the holdings you'll find that this is uh, Qatar, state of Qatar, Saudi Arabia, um, Petroleos Mexicanos and, and so on and so forth. So um, this is US dollar denominated uh, issued by governments and government related issuers so this would be an example of a um, because it's dollar denominated, almost like a, um, a, a euro bond ETF. If you look at this one, for instance, this is specifically a sovereign debt ETF. And if, if you look at the holdings, you'll find that this is China, uh, Croatia, and Croatia. And notice this is specifically the government's actually issuing. So the Republic of Colombia. Indonesia, Dominican Republic, Trinidad and Tobago, Croatia, Slovenia, Croatia, China. Now, if you go back to the other one, notice you have Petro, uh, Petroleos Mexicanos, Petrobas Global Finance BV. So these are, or these can be corporations in um, other foreign countries. Uh, but then you also could have uh, governments as well, Russia, Federation Ministry Finance, like Qatar, State of Qatar, and, and so on and so forth. So uh, when we're talking about government bond index, um, it may not be specifically the government itself. It could be an agency or a company uh, owned by the government and, um, and, and uh, almost like an agency of, um, of the government. But when we're talking about the sovereign, then the sovereign only is, uh, refers to the actual governments issuing um, these bonds. Now, this is also emerging market US dollar based. So these are also dollar based uh, ETF for uh, euro bonds for sovereign debt. Now, EMLC, for instance, is an example. By the way, I'm not suggesting that you, know, you, you should buy these at all. These are just, just examples. Um, EMLC is a local currency bond ETF, uh, and if you look at the holdings, you'll find that now you have, again, um, countries. So Republic of South Africa, Argentina, South Africa, Philippines, Uruguay, Dominican Republic, and so on and so forth. But then this time, the issues are in their own currency. So whatever the currency associated with each country, each bond is issued in that country, in that currency. So by investing in euro bonds of sovereign debt, you are taking the sovereign country's credit risk by investing in government bond index of euro bonds or government bonds, euro bonds, you're issuing or you're taking the risk of government and government related agencies in US dollars by investing in local currency bond 
then you are taking um, the government risk plus the currency risk of the currency that you're investing in. So the sovereign bond is issued by uh, a sovereign country. Uh, a euro bond is in US dollars issued by a corporation or a government. And a local currency foreign bond can be, again, um, a foreign government or a foreign corporation, but in their uh, local currency. Let's take a look at what TIPS is. So Treasury Inflation Protected Bonds. Let's take a look at the Treasury's website just to see what that is. So if you look at the Treasury Direct, by the way, uh, you can open an account with the Treasury and you can actually buy uh, actual Treasuries uh, using the Treasury Direct and you can even participate into uh, daily auctions through the Treasury Direct. Now, a TIPS is a Treasury Inflation Protected Security and the way that it actually protects against inflation is it adjusts the face value as much as the inflation. Now, notice if there is inflation, the price or the face value is going to increase to make up for the inflation. And if inflation goes down, the face value will go down to adjust for the inflation. However, the face value will never go below um, the issue amount. So they pay interest twice a year at a fixed rate. Um, so if you look at um, So they are issued at five, 10, and 30 years. Tips are sold incre increments of $100. They are always in electronic form. Um, you can buy these through directly from the Treasury Direct. Uh, there's a minimum face value that they guarantee that even if the inflation goes negative, the value of the tips will not go through, that you can find it on uh, treasurydirect.gov. Um, however, the way that they actually protect against inflation is um, we're concerned about high inflation um, by adjusting the face value upwards so that uh, your inflation can be paid through higher face values at the maturity. So that is what Treasury Inflation Protected Bonds is. Now, there is a, uh, an ETF called TIPS. Called TIP. Now, the problem with this is, well, first of all, notice how low the yields are. However, um, the problem with this is, now notice when you buy the TIP or Treasury Inflation Protected Security, um, for the first time, you're buying it at a face value of, uh, of issue. So if, say, it's a you know, $1,000, well, your face value is $1,000. Now, you're paying for that, and, and whatever you're paying right now is your current value. If the inflation goes up, the face value goes up. If inflation goes down, face value goes down. Yes, there's a minimum that it won't go below, but it actually may go down. Again, there's a minimum that it won't go below. However, if the interest rates have been higher and the face value has been adjusted upwards and you are not the first time buyer and you're buying in the secondary market, then you're buying into a tips that's already been adjusted up. So if inflation go, go low, or lower compared to your purchase date, then the very bond that you have purchased that has a face value that's been adjusted up because the inflation has been high, 
Now that the inflation is lower, the face value will come down, which means the very bond that you bought will have a face value lower compared to the time of your purchase. So in which case, this ETF, which is actively managed, may have bonds that have been already adjusted up. So if the inflation from this point forward goes down, then you would expect the value of this ETF to go down. Let's take a look. You see how, although again, not much, but you see you have seen as low as 109, as high as 116 or 117. So just because you're investing in tips, especially through an ETF, does not mean that you are immune to the risk of inflation volatility or risk of market yield volatility. So this concludes our four questions.